Hi! I didn't see you there. I was just doing some research on Shinto. It's a pretty cool religion. You wanna, wanna go check it out with me? That'd be pretty cool, right? You think? Let's go! Shintoism is a Japanese-based religion that focuses on regularly performed practices to reconnect modern-day people with ancient Japan and its rich history and beliefs. It is believed that Shintoism was originally an unorganized collection of native traditions. The term is used today as a devotion to shrines that worship many kami, or gods of Shintoism, in order to find success in the challenges of the practitioner's everyday life. These practitioners often express their beliefs in the standard language and in the dress from 8th to 12th century Japan. The word Shinto itself is a combination of two kanji, Shin meaning spirit or kwami, and To meaning a philosophical path or study. Although Shintoism has no founder, no religious texts, and no overarching doctrine, there is a book called the Kojiki, which is the ancient chronicles of Japan. This book gives descriptions of many various kami. Followers of Shinto worship kami as gods, but the word kami itself means essence or spirit. Not only are kami gods, but kami is a sacred essence that can be found in all wildlife, like trees, rocks, and animals. It is believed that the essence of kami also lives within humans. Kami have two very distinct sides. When they are respected, they can be nurturing and protective. The other side is where they can be very destructive. This side is only seen when they are disregarded and displeased. Kami never make an appearance in the physical world, but instead inhabit sacred places or people asking for their blessing. However, they will not inhabit one place forever. The kami are very mobile, often going in between all of their places of worship. Kami also have a specific responsibility to perform for the people around them. As people need to respect and worship the kami, the kami have to protect the people and provide them with the action or idea they inhabit. The things kami can inhabit are very general and broad. There are kami for qualities of growth, fertility, and production. There are also kami for natural phenomena like wind and thunder, as well as kami who are protectors of their descendants. Throughout the time Shintoism has existed, the only thing that has been changed about kami is the refinement of the concept, not the definition of what should be worshipped. Kami are often put into three groups. Amatsu kami, the heavenly deities, Kunitsu kami, the gods of the earthly realm, and Yaoyo Rozu no Kami, the countless Kami, which are the other Kami not mentioned in the two previous groups. The most important Kami is Amaterasu Omi Kami, which means the great god who shines in the heavens. She is the sun goddess and is even sometimes called goddess of the universe. It is believed Amaterasu painted the landscape to create ancient Japan with her brother Susano, god of sea and storms, and Sukuyomi, god of the moon. There is even a cult that is dedicated to worshipping just her named the Cult of the Sun. Although people worship kami, they don't usually label themselves as Shintoists, although it is practiced by 80% of the population of Japan. People in Japan often don't belong to a formal Shinto institution. They instead worship kami and visit shrines without being a formal member of the religion. A common belief of practicers of Shintoism is that certain deeds can cause an impurity of the soul. The Japanese word for impurity is kegare, they believe this kegare should be cleansed for peace of mind and good fortune. What's also interesting is that Shintoists believe that those who die with an impure soul will have a grudge and turn into evil kami that will seek revenge. Because of this belief, purification is a very important part of the beliefs of Shintoists. Purification is the main focus of Shintoism and is done every day to keep the spirit pure. Another belief of Shintoism is their views on the afterlife. Shintoists often celebrate childbirth by having a ceremony at a shrine, where the child's name is written down on a list, and that child is then named a Ujiko, or family child. When the Ujiko passes, he or she is then called a Ujigami, or a family spirit. Shinto has a pretty negative view on death, claiming it causes kegare, which in this case means pollution. What's interesting is that Shintoists often have Buddhist funerals. Shinto funerals exist, but are not often performed. These Shinto funerals entail many steps to burying the dead. The mourners wear black on a mourning day called Kichiu Fuda, 
while a Shinto priest performs various rituals. Money gifts are also given to the family of the deceased, which is known as Koden. Another tradition of Shinto funerals is the gathering of the deceased person's ashes, some of which are taken by a family member of the deceased and put in the home shrines in a step known as Bankotsu. Shintoists practice many various rituals in order to cleanse their soul and stay away from impurity, or kigare. Here are examples of what those rituals would look like. The practice of Omairi is available to all who are interested. It is a ritual that is meant to cleanse the soul in a personal way, which means you don't need a priest or a higher religious figure. It is normally conducted wherever a shrine is located, although it can be replicated in one's home. In the next clip, you will see the first part of the ritual called Temizu, which is the main part in the cleansing ritual. The individual will take the dipper in the right hand and scoop up water. They will then pour this water onto their left hand, transfer the dipper to the left hand, and pour water on the right hand. They will then transfer the dipper back to the right hand, cup their left palm, and pour water into it. They will then drink from this palm, swish it around the mouth quietly, and spit it into the left palm. Finally, they will pour the remaining water down the dipper and into the bowl. Another ritual is misogi, which is a variation on the purification ritual. It normally involves more than one person and has a priest directing the ritual. It is also based upon the cleansing nature of water, and as you can see in the video, they are using a much larger body of water to perform the ritual. You will also notice it is a full body ritual compared to Tamizu. The individuals who are participating in the ritual are dressed in traditional Japanese togas. Individuals will plunge into the cold waters and stand for a period of time, letting the water wash away the sins that have been accumulated in day-to-day -day life. Misogi is much more focused on the tradition and formality in the ritual. That is why you will see everyone bowing, which is the sign of respect in Japanese culture. You will also see participants clap due to the tradition. Once the priest concludes with the final motions, the sins of the individual will have been cleared and they are purified. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed, and we also hope you learned a lot about Shinto. Next time, Join me for the quintessential role that flip-flops play in people's lives. It's gonna be a great one.